Now, Dr. Bales mentioned dirty electricity. When we think of dirty electricity, EMF, electromagnetic frequencies, cell phone towers, um, radiation, and, and that's what we think of when we hear the term dirty electricity. Every time we step outside, we're exposed to like a toxic slew of dirty electricity, especially in the United States today, with cell phone towers being everywhere. You may be wondering, is there any way to mitigate the radiation from cell phones? I've seen many different chips and gadgets and little things that you stick on your cell phone, things that were supposedly holograms, and just all kinds of kind of weird stuff that supposedly stops any danger from occurring from cell phones. Now, I have one on my cell phone. I don't usually carry it in my pocket here, but this is just for you to see. It's a little device here, and it's called the MRET device. It's developed by Dr. Smirnoff. Now, we're going to listen to him describe how he developed this technology. But first, we're going to hear a, a brief clip from Dr. Lee Aaron Keneally. If you walk outside, you're exposed to lots of different challenges, and we don't know. I mean, if we talk about electrosmog, we don't know everybody. There's lots of stuff written on it, but we don't know exactly what our cell phones and EMF and cell towers and all of this electricity that is doing to our body. Some people think it's the single biggest threat we have to, to mankind. But because people think that we're just this physical person that we're seeing, but no, you have this bioenergetic electrical field that is probably more influential than what's just the 3D morphology that you see right now. So as, as you can see here on my phone, I've got a little device here, and this is a, a, called an MRET device? It's an MRET nylon. Yeah. Okay. Device, yeah. What, what does this do? Because I've got it on my phone because we know about the dangers of cell phone radiation. Mm -hmm. I've had this on my phone ever since I learned about this technology over a year ago. Right. So what is this and, and how does it work? Uh, okay, it basically works same way like MRT water machine because it's based on the so-called generation of the low frequency, low intensity, so-called noise field, magnetic field, which quite close resemble natural geomagnetic field. Probably within the last 150 years, there's a lot of you know distortion of this electromagnetic field because we developed a lot of man-made electromagnetic um, um, uh, pollution around. So, in order to protect human body, we have to recreate the same noise field, natural noise field, to protect the human cells. When uh, man-made electromagnetic field affect the cells, they shut down their membrane, the so-called hardening of this cell's membrane mechanism. And it's designed, it's a natural mechanism, the same way cells behave when uh, kind of like a chemical poison can be introduced to the cells. So the only difference is that uh, you can easily remove because of the, you know, flush and the human body activity. The chemicals can be easily removed out of the body. But when you're exposed to the electromagnetic, you cannot remove it, you cannot stop it. Right. You're conti uh, continuously exposed to this uh, pollution, especially after introduction of Wi-Fi. Mm -hmm. And the cell phone towers. Yes, right, so, cell towers, yes. So what, this recreates the noise field that we're used to for our bodies. And exactly, so right. right so how does it protect us? Uh, okay, so when it generates this noise field, extremely low intensity noise field, the noise field can be um, superimposed on the microwave signals, man-made electricity. It's another, it's, it's kind of like it's a piggyback. It's carried this noise field frequency. The uh, microwave signal carries this noise field, uh, noise field frequency. So in other words, when it hit the cells, the noise field kind of like a mask the uh, microwave signal. So cells cannot recognize microwave signals and they don't shut down their membrane. It's a polymer material and when you expose this polymer material to electromagnetic microwave radiation, it's kind of like create uh, uh, excitation in the molecular structure of the polymer. And this is how the polymer generates low frequency. Wow. Do I believe in this technology? Let's just say that I have one of these little MRET devices on every uh, mobile device, every handheld device that my family owns. There's been a direct correlation shown in the research between cell phone radiation and brain cancer. 